All right, guys, so here we have every MXGP game ranked from worst to best, and this is just my opinion. It doesn't make it fact. It doesn't make it true. It's just how I feel about it. And to start things off in last place, we have MXGP 2019. Now, for some of you guys, it might be your favorite, and that's perfectly fine. Uh, let me know in the comments if it is your favorite, but in my opinion, it just didn't... The gameplay, the, the core physics of the game just weren't really that fun to me. Um, all the jumps were really rolled off, and it never really felt like you got any air off the jumps. Everything was very flat. The track editor was a big disappointment, in my opinion. Um, the customization was okay. The graphics were pretty good. The compound was pretty good, too. But again, the overall gameplay, the physics just weren't that good. The track editor, again, wasn't very good. And the reason is because we already had the Supercross track editor, which in my opinion was light years better than what we had in MXGP 2019. So that's the reason I put it in last place. I played all these games together right after each other. And um, I actually changed my list from what I initially thought I was going to have after playing them. So there is a couple surprises probably in this list uh, if you have seen some of my other ranking videos for Milestone games. But um, yeah, MXGP 2019 coming in last place. Some people, again, are going to enjoy this game. And if you do, let me know in the comments. I mean, there's always going to be some people that enjoy junky stuff, I guess. But... <laughs> I promise, I'm just kidding, it was just a joke, but if it is your favorite game, let me know in the comments. I'd be, it'd be fun to compare your list with mine, but MXGP 2019 coming in last place. All right, so in fifth place, we have MXGP1. Now, this game and every game after it could be slightly interchanged, but after playing them and after, you know, re-familiarizing myself with them, MXGP1 is the fifth best game in my opinion this game was insane because the game they that milestone made before this was mud 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 was not a good game and this is way 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 better than mud it had the riders the tracks the the gameplay was good the whips were still a bit canned but they weren't actually a push button whip because in mud, it was literally a push button. You hit A to do a whip. Um, so way better. It was kind of a mix between Simcade, you know, where you had, it was arcadey, but it did have some Sim aspects to it. So it was a solid game. I mean, it didn't really have the customization we have now or the compound or whatever, but it did have a bike setup. You could tune the bike the way you wanted to. The tracks, again, were really solid. Um, the other problem that kind of sucked was you didn't have the ability to personalize the rider the way you do now to make it feel like it's your own rider. You know what I mean? You could, but, but not to the extent that you can in the newer games. So... Uh, but, I mean, that's just because this was basically their first entry into MXGP, if you don't count MUD. Um, also, after playing them, the graphics are a bit dated. I mean, naturally, they're going to be. So, they're still good, but they are a bit dated, even compared to MXGP2. But if MXGP1 is very high on your list, I'm not going to be surprised. I wouldn't even argue with you. This could have been interchanged almost with 4th uh, or 3rd place. So, MXGP1 coming in at 5th place. All right, so here we have fourth place. This is MXGP2, and this game was awesome. It was awesome. Again, the same thing I said with MXGP1. This game could easily be higher on the list. I wouldn't be shocked to see people putting it in their top three. This game was awesome. It had stadium racing, which I do have some footage for you. It had kind of the introduction of the compound with the test tracks. It had two test tracks, and it was a, kind of a, a free roam map, but it was small. It was uh, the first kind of introduction to that that we had gotten. This was the first game that had heavy, deep customization in it where you could really make your own custom rider to represent yourself in the game. 
Uh, the whips were different. They, the first version of the push the analog sticks together, pull them apart whip. I don't know if that's a good thing, but they did change it up. It had the tracks, it had the riders, again, the customization, the bike setup, the test track compound, the personalization, and the gameplay, the physics were fun. I mean, the bike could feel a bit heavy at times, which I'm not saying is a bad thing. I think MXGP3, the bike felt a bit too light. Um, the one problem was the tough blocks were solid steel. So that was kind of a bummer. And when you would whip hard, if you landed, sometimes the bike wouldn't turn. Like you got stuck going straight. So very few complaints about this game. I feel like this was a huge leap from MXGP1, but MXGP2 coming in at fourth place. And in third place, this one might surprise a bunch of you because I have talked a bunch of junk on MXGP Pro. I didn't mind it in the beginning and then I didn't like it. And then coming back after playing all of them together in a row, this game is a lot better than I remember it being, especially MXGP 2019. The problem I still have with this game is that it's a bit inconsistent. Um, so this game was marketed to be a tougher game, more of a, a simulation where you would crash if you over jump, under jump, or hit a corner bad. You could crash easier, which is great, but it had inconsistencies. I would hit a jump perfect or hit a corner perfect and I would still crash. It had some inconsistencies in it which annoyed me, which is still what bothers me about this game, uh, the inconsistencies. Also, I feel like I had unnecessary hate towards this game because the game before, what did we get? MXGP3, which we'll get to that later, but I felt like this was such a a step backwards from MXGP3. The graphics are better, the gameplay, the core gameplay physics are actually very, very good. Um, something that I apologize for not liking as much as I should have in the beginning. Uh, the graphics again are good, the customization is pretty good. The compound I felt like wasn't very good. It was okay, but there has been better compounds and it had two strokes. So overall, this game is much better than what I had been saying. It just had been so long since I had came back to play this game. So MXGP 2020 hits the list at number two. This game, I've seen both sides of the argument. I love it, I hate it, I like it. I do enjoy MXGP 2020. I love the tracks, I love the the physics they chose to go with over MXGP 2019. The compound is pretty good. The tracks suck, but the compound free roam is pretty good. The customization is okay. It does have the two strokes in it. The tracks are good. Um, but again, the core gameplay physics are fun. They added inside ruts that you can hit. No actual terrain deformation ruts but they did put some inside ruts that you can hit and once you figure out how to hit them it's fun man it's very fun the multiplayer in my opinion is insanely fun the first person cam is fantastic i just enjoy the game the track editor is better than 2019 it's similar but we have a better map with uh elevation in it so the editor in my opinion is significantly better than 2019 graphically i feel like it's pretty strong i do feel like it is more towards an arcade game than it has been in the past but but i still do enjoy it and now it doesn't come without its faults it does lack some of the basic content that should be in the game already we're missing one if not two tracks some uh, maps that we should be able to build tracks on we can't search for custom tracks so 
it does have its own faults for sure but overall the gameplay is fun and i feel like they did a very good job on it minus missing out on some of the content we should have had from day one and taking the top spot here is MXGP3. This game is fantastic. If I could only recommend one MXGP game, it would be MXGP3. This game was fun. It still had an, uh, a Simcade feel to it. It had the introduction of two strokes. It had a fantastic compound with two test tracks. Now, it could have been a bit bigger and more in-depth than what it was, but this this was kind of their first attempt at a compound. I mean, again, we had it kind of in 2, MXGP2, but not to the extent of 3 here. So, fantastic compound. The tracks were fantastic, and the gameplay, the core gameplay, the physics were awesome. I believe they went to a a new a new game engine for MXGP3 here and they did awesome. The whips are still push the sticks together, pull them apart, but it felt the best out of any MXGP game to date in my opinion. Now, the game has its own faults for sure. The graphics are good, but sometimes I feel like they are a bit blurry. For instance, the back of the jersey can get a bit blurry, and the bike does feel a bit heavy or light. My bad. Light. Uh, sometimes it doesn't really feel like the bike lands. It doesn't... It needs to have more weight. I mean, it's like pretty much the opposite of MXGP2. MXGP2 heavy, MXGP3 light. But this game, for me, is my favorite MXGP game, hands down wasn't even a question when I got footage I played the game longer than any of the other MXGP games it's so much fun even going head-to-head -head against the newer games it is solid and I cannot recommend the game enough best MXGP game to date I would love to see how our rankings match up because I'm pretty sure not everybody is gonna agree with me and that's fine I like to see how you guys feel about the game. But you guys and girls are absolutely amazing. Thank you so much for the support on the channel lately. It really does mean a lot. And until the next video, take it easy.